Okay, okay. So hopefully I, I did it right this time. Had an issue on Monday, but today is a new day and it looks like Facebook's cooperating and I haven't totally screwed up whatever I might have screwed up last time. Anyway, it is September, still barely, so if you have not yet posted for your year of self-care, please go do that. Uh, you have today and tomorrow to post your year of self-care um, social media post and make sure that you tag Black Sheep Fiber Emporium. Remember that September, September was all about uh, learning something new. It was back to school and learning something new, whatever that new to you thing was. Um, so if you haven't yet, oh, and the cat's here. If you haven't yet posted, this is Marshmallow, to um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or wherever you like to post, make sure you take a picture of whatever you're working on and enter the contest. Free to enter, it's, you know, just, we're just doing it for fun. Uh, year of self-care, all you have to do is hashtag Black Sheep Fiber Emporium or hashtag BSFE, or Black Sheep Fiber Emporium, so that I can find your post and pick a winner. And I probably won't get a winner picked until um, I get back from my trip. I am taking a very small trip um, over the weekend. And remember, I'm traveling during the very first part of Spin Together. That's what's coming up. Starts Saturday, and that's what we're going to talk about today. But I wanted to make sure that I reminded everybody that Year of Self-Care was on and that you should be posting. Um, next month is all about spicing up your crafting. And you can do that by um, using the new technique that you learned in September, adding, um, what did I say? Uh, to add some zest to your crafting. Woohoo! Make something a little bit challenging, work with colors you don't normally work with, um, make something a little risque, just whatever it is that you want to do to spice up your crafting for October. That is next month's year of self care. Boy, Marshmallow is just really in my lap today. He's like, I want love. Love me now. All right. Yes, hi, I love you too. <laughs> Please don't bite me on camera. Anyway, so this is Marshmallow. He's he's a little bit of an aggressive lover right now. Um, anyway, that's kind of what's happening. Now, Spin Together does start at noon for your local time, whatever it is, if it's Eastern, Central, whatever, on um, Saturday, and then it ends at noon your local time on um, October 9th. So that's October 2nd through October 9th. And it is a competition. You are supposed to spin as much as you can. But I know I'm not going to get as much spun as I would like to spin because I'm traveling and it's okay. And so we are the Black Sheep Voyagers. Uh, if you have not yet signed up for a group, um, a team, we would love to have you. We still have plenty of space available. And um, listen, Marshmallow, I love you, honey, but I, I don't want you right now. Nope, 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 nope. All right, that didn't work. Um... <laughs> Okay, I guess I'm going to hold the cat while I talk for a little bit. Anyway, uh, you can find us on the uh, spin together dot, I think it's org uh, website and sign up and it's just, it'll be a lot of fun. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I talked to Heather with the Pearly Shell Pirates, Heather and Danielle with the Pearly Shell Pirates, and they asked if we wanted to do some Zoom alongs together and I said, sure. So um, I will set up a couple of Zoom meetings for either like Tuesday, Thursday, or Tuesday, Friday next week. Um, I will be going live next week on Wednesday for my usual live video, and we will be spinning during the, our video, hopefully without the cat, because um, it's a little hard to spin with the cat. <laughs> he apparently just really wanted some love right now. Um, you're a little bit like my child, you know. You're a little bit like my child. Mm-hmm. Ina does this too. She just like crawls in my lap and demands to be loved. Anyway, um, so I will set that up. And if you are part of the Pearly Shell Pirates or the Black Sheep Voyagers, we will throw information in our respective Facebook groups so that you know uh, when we're Zooming and, and, um, and what the link will be. And I'll make sure I get that all set up. So that'll be fun. That'll be fun. And then uh, what else do I need to tell you? Um, let's see, Zoom meetings, my regular Wednesday. Don't bite me. Why are you so mean today? Shoo, kitty, kitty. Anyway, um, let's see. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what I am doing to prepare for Spin Together. And it's going to look a little bit funny, but uh, this is one of the things that I am preparing. 
So you might think, what in the world is this? But remember, I'm traveling, and I've been talking about prepping your fiber for spinning. And one of the things that I have done is I picked out a lot of the fiber that I wanted to spin, and then I took it and I fluffed it, and I broke it into the sections that I wanted. But I made sure that when I was doing it, I included the tag from my fiber as well as... Yeah, let me see if I can find it in here. As well as a washing tag. And what does that mean? So when I spin my fiber, um, my friend Shannon recommended that I just go ahead and make one of these um, little wrist bands. This is just one of those Tyvek wrist bands for my yarn. And that I mark it with all of the pertinent information so that when I go to wash my skein, I know exactly what it is. You know, I can put all kinds of information on here. But for example, I have... Um, the dyer on here, I have the fiber content on here, I have the color on here, and I have the initial weight um, of my roving on here. Um, when I do this after I've spun something, a lot of times I just write the weight of the skein itself. Um, I also put things on here like two ply, chain ply, three ply, whatever it was. Um, you can put other information on these wristbands, um, but this is a really nice way to mark your um, yarn if you are a hand spinner. Let me grab one. So here's one. I haven't washed this one yet, but um, this, is, this is the loop. It has all the information on it so that I don't forget what I have spun, what my yardage is. That's always nice to put on here. And it is the pre-washed yardage. I always report my pre-washed yardage. Um, yes, I could go back and remeasure it, um, but honestly, I don't. I don't usually bother with that. Um, at least it's nice to know what my pre-washed yardage was. Uh, so if I want to measure my washed yardage, I can. But um, this is like one of my biggest tips if you're going to join me for spin together. Um, and remember, you can do spin together in any country. Like I think we have someone from England that joined our group. Yay! And um, I've got, you know, people in the Midwest. I've got people out on the coast. I got people everywhere. It's totally cool. Like, totally cool. And we have lots of spots left. I think we only have seven or eight people on our team. Lots of spots left if you decide you want to sign up. You still have today and tomorrow to do that. But anyway, um, this is one of the best things that you can do then with your skeins before you wash them is just tag them. Tag them so you don't forget what it is. So what I did, because I know that I am traveling is I wrote down in my Epic Notes notebook all of the different fibers that I was prepping. And I also learned that one of the fibers that I had picked out was a little too sticky. And I don't want to be spinning sticky fiber during the spin together because it'll take too much time. So I'm actually going to save that sticky one for later, but I went ahead and wrote down all of the information. And I tucked the tag and I tucked um, like a, a wristband tag for the skein inside each of my bags. So I just have bags like this. Um, I've got like a pile of them. That's just why I keep looking over here. I have a pile here. Here's my pile. I don't know if you can see there. So I have a pile of, of bags of um, roving that I have fluffed. And every one of those bags has the wristband and the original, let me find it. This one slipped down. The original die tag, well, this one isn't it, but the original die tag. And I just tuck that in so that I make sure that I'm tracking all the things that I want to track on my fiber. And then I just take the top and kind of loosely tie it down because I did go to all of the work of fluffing this, so now I don't want to compress it too much. But this way, my fiber has already at least been um, worked over once. I know uh, if it's sticky, I don't want to use it for spin together because I do want to focus more on being able to enjoy my spinning and not fighting my uh, roving. Fighting the roving is for after spin together. Anyway, um, I have my spinning wheel packed. I have um, roving ready to go. I need to, I need to get a tote out to put that in though so it doesn't get squished. Um, and anyway, today I thought I would just talk about, so I went ahead and I weighed this skein here and I have my tag, and then what I'll do is I will just write here in my epic notes that this one is uh, Singing Raven. Singing Raven. And it is 7525 BFL and Silk. So I'm gonna write 7525, 7525 BFL and Silk. And um, this one was 112 grams, and it was color 
46. And so I wrote all of that down because I got all that information off my tag. And this will go in the top of my bag. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to write the same things on here where, and I always like to write it on the sticky end. This is the end that has the sticky. Um, so you can get these. I got mine off of Amazon. I hate to admit that, but I did. Uh, but you can also get these um, at a lot of like event stores and um, office supply stores as well. Uh, for some reason, that's where they tend to sell them. Uh, but it, it makes sense. I mean, usually you use them when you're getting into an event, right? It's a wristband for an event. Um, but no, you stay out of here. He has just been like all about getting into my wool. That's probably why he's all over me today, because I smell like wool. See that cat? Anyway. Um, so I like to go ahead and write my information starting on um, the end that is closest to the um, sticky end because then I can better gauge how big my um, loop needs to be. So anyway, there, I just wrote it all there. It's Singing Raven, and I put the content and the weight and the... Uh, and the color number. So now I have that ready to go. And then um, the other thing, I talked about this a little bit, but the other thing that I like to do is um, I'm, I make notes in my in my little notebook here if I intend to chain ply or um, center pull ply or uh, three ply or two ply, whatever it is. I make notes in my little book so that I have a better idea of what I want to do so that if I, you know, spin a single and then I don't come back to it for a couple of weeks and I've forgotten what I was doing, I have a note. Notes are like really important to me now because I have mom brain. Um, so notes were important before I had my child and now they've become doubly important because it's the only way I get anything done. And it's the only thing that allows me to sleep at night is being able to make lists and get it out of my head so that um, <laughs> my poor little brain will stop running around. The little hamster will stop running on its wheel. So anyway, um, most of the, um, most of the braids that I've been using are something similar to this and they are four ounces and I have just decided that most of them I am just going to center pull ball, um, ply. So, um, I will try to spin a bunch of singles the first few days and then as I get closer to, um, midweek, then I will start pulling them into cakes so that I can start plying, um. And I do, I do like to let my singles rest um, for a day, if at all possible, um, sometimes two days, but one day is usually is enough for me. So anything that like I would spin on Saturday, I would let sit until at least Sunday before I started plying it anyway. Um, so I just decided that my best bet was to go ahead and do a lot of center pull balls um, for my singles this year. And all I'm going to do is just floofity floof. And I'm not trying to like super fluff this out, but I'm just trying to sort of release the fiber so that it's getting a little bit fluffier so that when I go to spin it, um, it isn't going to be so compacted and so hard to uh, spin. And again, part of the reason that I'm prepping is because we are going into spin together. So I want to have a lot of fiber prep so that I don't have to do this and take my time to fluff my fiber and prep my fiber when I really want to be spinning because it's, you know, it's a competition. I, you know, I'm not going to have like 30,000 yards like uh, Rachel the Beast McSweeney last year. I think that was her name. She had like 30,000 yards. It was amazing. I don't know how she had that, but whew. And she also had an e-spinner though. And don't like compare yourself to other people. It's all about your personal journey and how much you can spin. And, you know, life happens and family happens and you know, don't feel like if you only spin a thousand yards that, you know, you're going to let anybody down because that is not the truth. If you only spin a thousand yards, that's a thousand more yards that you have spun today that you didn't have yesterday. So that's where I am on that. Anyway, so I am just, I'm just like, I'm sitting here flopping. Fluffity fluff fluff while we talk. And then all I do is I take this and I'm just going to take my plastic bag and I'm just gonna start like sacking it into the plastic bag and because it's all attached anyway I don't really care exactly how it goes into the plastic bag all I really care about is that it goes in and part part of that is to keep marshmallow out of my fiber because the cat keeps trying to eat my wool I'm well not really well kind of eat it 
kind of eat it. I don't know. Anyway. Um, so yeah, if you've been on the fence about joining Spin Together, there are still teams out there that have spaces left, like Black Sheep Voyagers. Uh, we are not the only team that has space left, though. So if we aren't quite the right fit for you, there are other teams out there. Um, but I am really looking forward to, and remember, you can drop spindle, spinning wheel, or e-spinner. All count. As long as it's hand spinning, it counts. Uh, and you can find the full list of rules on that spintogether.org website. But like that's what I'm gearing up towards. That's what we're going to be doing. Um, I'm trying to give you guys some of my like best tips and practices. This is only the second year that I've done it. I've learned a lot um, from, I mean, I used to spin quite a bit, but uh, I've relearned a lot about spinning and read some books on spinning. And there's a brand new um, beginning spinners book coming out. If you're interested, we are pre-ordering it. It does not come out until November, um, but we can definitely get that in for you if it's something you're interested in. You can find that on our blacksheepfiberemporium.com website. Um, if you're a newer spinner, might be a good one for you. Uh, I can definitely recommend, oh, like the Ald Namus Big Book of Hand Spinning. And um, there's actually some excellent older publications that you can find for, you know, very, very little money if you're looking in the right places, um, thrift stores and things like that. Um, can I think of any of the names of those right now? No, no, I can't, but they're, they're pretty good. <laughs> anyway, uh, what else do I need to tell you about Spin Together? I'm steadily working my way through and fluffing. Um, let's see. So yeah, we're going to Zoom on, I think, Tuesday and Thursday night next week. I will get those Zoom sessions set up. You don't have to do them. Uh, they'll be up, they'll be going, um, I, I'll be in and out with, uh, spinning just because, you know, kid. And then, um, yeah, the Alden Amos ones are definitely good, Bonnie. Alden Amos has great books on spinning. Um, sometimes you can find those relatively inexpensive. Um, but yeah, so we're going to Zoom, we're going to Zoom. Uh, I wasn't going to Zoom, but we're going to Zoom because Heather said, hey, let's do it together. And I was like, oh, all right, fine. Um, and then, uh, again, best practices are to plan on spinning as many singles as you can before you ply, uh, center pull balls and center pull plying are your friend because then you can clean off a bobbin and put some more singles on it until you have a chance to, um, go in and ply. And a lot, some people will wait to ply until like Friday and Saturday, and then they'll have a big plying party on Friday and Saturday. Um, if you have... Uh, like a bunch of, you know, spun yarn on your bobbins. Now is the time to go ahead and clean those off because you want them all clean and ready to go so that you aren't spending your time um, on fiber that doesn't count for spin together uh, as of Saturday. So that's kind of your goal is to just start spinning and uh, cleaning off all of your bobbins if you haven't done so already. Uh, make sure that your wheel is well oiled, that you've taken care of any maintenance, um, that you are fluffing, I'm still fluffing, that you are fluffing your fiber so that you don't have to spend time doing that um, prior to spinning. And you might ask, why am I fluffing my fiber? And I'm fluffing my fiber because every time your fiber is handled until it goes through your wheel, it is compacted. So um, at the mill, it gets compacted at... Um, the dyers, it gets compacted. When it is shipped, it gets compacted. And so if you want to have a better time spinning, you should invest the time in um, pre-fluffing. And for some people that's, you know, they make roll eggs, they do blending boards, they hand card, they process wool from, from fleece. But for me, it just means um, I take my braids and I gently fluff them all out and I like to do a lot of um, two plies. I don't do as many of the center pull balls um, just because I like to be able to go basically bobbin, bobbin, bobbin instead of having to do bobbin to a center pull ball. I have my ball winder right here back to a bobbin. Um, but this year I decided I'm going to invest a little more time in center pull ball um, balls for plying. So, you know, that's what I'm doing. And I'm just, I'm just floofity floofing. Lots of floofity floofing. So does anybody have questions about spin together or 
what I'm planning to do, uh, you can always post in the Black Sheep Voyagers group uh, on Facebook or you can toss a question up on our um, Facebook page. We, uh, we have you know messages there. You can always put one in the comments and we'll try to answer it there as well. Um, both Tina and myself are spinning. Um, and I don't know if she's doing e-spinning or if she is, I think she's spinning on her spinning wheel. She, um, she sold her Kromsky Minstrel and then made me buy her another Kromsky Minstrel because somebody wanted one. So she sold her wheel and then I ordered her a new one. So isn't that entertaining? Um, we do have all of the Kromsky stuff available on the website. It's a little late to get it in time for spin together, but if there's something that you really want, let us know. Uh, we can always get it in, and I can drop ship a lot of things. So, anyway. Yeah, there we go. Look, I'm almost through. I only have this much left, this much to fluff. And look at how much that fluffs up. So here's how how much that roving ha is fluffing up from the compaction, from, you know, going through the mill, being shipped, and then being dyed. And this isn't sticky at all. This is not sticky at all. This is not... A fault it's just kind of the way that fiber reacts to being handled it gets all smooched down it gets all colored and pretty and then I floof it out so I can spin it again so floof, floof, floof. Floof, floof, floof. anyway yeah so that's my plan um, I've got mm, I think eight ounces of Cheviot, and then I've got four ounces of Polworth. I've got eight ounces of Merino Tencel uh, in the same colorway. It's Manic Monday, which is one of my very favorite, I don't know why either, one of my very favorite songs. Yes, by the Bangles from the 80s, and I probably should be too young to remember that, and yet I'm not. So there we go. And what else have I got over there? Um... Polworth, the Cheviot, the Merino Tencel, Merino Tencel. I think I have some more. I think I have 80-20 BFL silk. This is 75-25 BFL silk. So I've got um, just a little dab of, of different stuff. I just decided, um, or maybe I've got a Falkland over there. I might have Falkland. Uh, I just decided I was going to do a bunch of different stuff. Why not? I can, right? Because it's whatever I want to spin and however I want to deal with it. Anyway, there are some competitions as well. Um... There's like a prettiest skein competition, um, funkiest art yarn competition, something like that. You can read more about that on the spintogether.org website. But if you enter those, it those skeins do get removed from the overall yardage for our team. So uh, you can do those, but then we lose yardage. So totally up to you guys what you want to do. I don't really care. Um, I don't expect to have like really high yardage on our team this year just because you know I'm traveling and we got new people and we're really doing this for fun I don't like I'm not in it to win it I'm just in this to hang out have fun um, we're gonna draw some extra prizes for the people on our team um, for posting probably I'll put that info up um, on Facebook oh like I don't know, probably tonight. I'll just throw a little post up that says, hey, and just so you know, we're going to have a contest. So every post will be entered, um, you know, for something. I don't know. I don't even know what yet. So I have this all fluffed. Here it is. You kind of watched me fluff it. Here's my floof already in my bag. And yes, I am using plastic bags. I happen to have a lot of them. If I had enough paper bags, I would have put these in paper bags. But I don't, so this is what I got. I'm going to go ahead and take my tag and make sure that I tuck it in the bag and I'm going to take my wristband tag for the actual skein because these because they're Tyvek and you write on these with ballpoint pens very important to use the ballpoint pen um, then your ink doesn't really come off in the wash and you have it permanently tagged of course you don't want to run your paper tags through the wash because they'll disintegrate um, but this way you have it tagged um, I do like to keep my little tags sometimes I take these and I attach them to my hand spun skeins later Sometimes I don't, um, and I, I may end up trying to sell some of my hand spun um, at the Ozark Fiber Fling because, my goodness, I have just ended up with a lot of it lately. Um, I'm just like, I, I was a bit of a spinning fool. Uh, anyway, so that's, that's what's going in my bag, and then mostly because I don't want the tags to fall out, I just, I just do this. Um, and again, I'm trying not to compact it back down. I just keep it soft and fluffy. 
and I put it on my stack here. Remember, here's my stack o my stack o bags ready to go uh, with my spinning wheel, so that whoop, sorry about that, guys. Uh, so that I have my oh yeah, I spun this around. There's my bed. Uh, there we go. So that I have my spinning wheel down here as well. It's all packed up and ready to go because I'm actually leaving tomorrow on my little adventure. So I have to make sure I have everything with me. I made sure that I had my wheel oil and my orifice hook and extra bobbins. I help find the extra bobbins. Um, I packed my magnetic flyer head and I have all the tools in my kit for that in case I decide to do something different. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm like gearing up to go travel and um, go see my family and judge a rabbit show and then spin, 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 spin. My family does live on a sheep farm. Um, I. I don't know, I may go live and show you some sheep or pre-record something and show you guys some sheep. Uh, it is not, it's not a wool farm though. We, we raise meat sheep, so. Um, and, but mostly show sheep, but also meat sheep because, you know, I, I kind of like lamb. If you are um, not a meat eater, well, I am, so. And I like my lamb. I also like rabbit. I raise rabbits and I eat them, so. Not gonna apologize for it. Uh, anyway, what else do I need to tell you guys? I don't know. I think that's most of it. I really wanted to just run over kind of the what to do to prep for spin together, uh, tell you kind of what was coming up. Um, I am still working on our stitch along. So if you remember, uh, Mondays we're doing the stitch along, but I will not be here next Monday. I need to reiterate that. Um, I will be traveling back next Monday, so I will not be on at 3.30 to do my usual live stitch along. Um, I will try to do a little bit of a stitch along, maybe on Tuesday, I'll try to put something up again, show you guys where I am, talk you through that stuff. Um, I, ha I am really enjoying my star map stitch along. I just, you know, I'm, I'm, I have a lot of things on my plate right now that I'm trying to get done, uh, for this month and next month. So yes, anyway, um. What do I need to tell you guys? If you want to join Spin Together, you have today and tomorrow. Uh, we have plenty of room on our team if you want to be on our team. Like I said, we aren't doing this to win it. We're just we're just doing this because it's fun. And, um, and, and it's fun to spin and it's fun to share. So uh, I'm gonna set up Zoom stuff on um, Tuesday and Thursday. And I might try to do like, um, a short like one hour zoom at mid afternoon on Tuesday and then we'll do a later one for the later people I don't know um, I'll do what I can um, but I do have a three-year-old an almost three-year-old um, and a lot of animals and you know just not a lot of time so I'll, I'll but I'll do what I can um, so I'll, I'll try to set it up so even if you guys just want to drop in and out then we can do that too um, yeah so that's what's coming up, at least for the next couple of weeks. We will continue to stitch along um, after spin together. We will not talk about spinning for a while after spin together, um, except I might do like a, you know, a how to wash your skeins kind of thing when you're finished. Um, so we might do one session on that. But I want to get back to showing you about weaving, tatting, knitting, um, and Mediterranean knotted lace. So I want to talk about all of those things in October. Um, and then in November, I want to talk about um, sweaters and maybe we will pick out a uh, sweater pattern and we will do Nan Nanisfimo, right? National Knit a Sweater Month, Nanisfimo, maybe? I don't know, I haven't, I haven't fully decided on that. If, if there are people that are interested, I'm, I'm up for it. If, if you aren't, then we'll pick other things, small things, <laughs> anyway. So yeah, that's kind of what's coming up. Um, I will see you guys next week. Um, take care of yourselves. Remember that when you start spinning this weekend to take a break every 20 minutes. I mean, even if you just get up, stretch, sit back down. Um, take a little break. Uh, make sure that you are drinking enough, stay hydrated, um, stretch, you know, just, yeah, like every 20 minutes you should be getting up and doing something different. Uh, that's why most of my videos are like 20 to 30 minutes long. And then I get up and I go do something else because uh, I need I need to move, I need to stretch, and you have to take care of your body. We have to take care of our bodies so that they can, they can keep taking care of us later on, right? Um, anyway, so until next time, please take care of yourselves. What do I always say? Mentally, emotionally, phys physically, 
and craftily be careful out there. Um, you know, just practice caution everywhere. You know, drive safely, walk safely, um, wash your hands a lot. And um, yeah, and I will see you guys next week. So look for posts in the Facebook group and on the Black Sheep Facebook page for more info uh, when it comes to uh, spin together. Anyway, all right. Bye, guys.